Hey everyone, Sims Life here, back with another tutorial. And in this video, I am going to show you how to make default replacement uh, paintings for your art easel. So what I had my Sim do here was I painted one from each category in the classic se section. I had him do one small one, one medium one, and one large classic painting. And so I'm only going to do three for this video. Um, but this is a, a very time consuming process, so, but I'm, I'm going to replace uh, these three. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, screen, a screenshot of them. So that way I remember exactly which three I will be replacing. So to start, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Sims 4 Studio. Go up here to where it says tools and you're going to want to come on down to create empty package. And then you're going to want to go ahead and name your package file. This is uh, this is the one that you're going to be putting into your mods folder. And I'm going to call it just, I'm just going to call it DR paintings. I already have one. So I don't want to, I don't want to override it. I'm just showing you how you would create the package file for it. So I'm going to save it into my test folder, that, which is in my mods. I'm going to hit save. And so now it brings you here. You're going to go, you're going to want to go to tools again and go to game file cruiser. And you can, you can leave this one open um, because you're going to be putting the paintings that you find over here. So you're going to want to come over here and look for DST image and then go down here and uh, make sure that you're on thumbnails. It, it, by default, it's probably going to be on list, but just hit thumbnails. And this is where the fun begins. So it, it's not hard. It's just a very, a very long time consuming process because you're going to want to look for the pictures, uh, the paintings in here. Um, now I've been told uh, that these are in order by uh, file size. Um, I don't see that to be the case though, um, because I see, I see some that are just kind of scattered all over the place. Um, but the small pictures are 128 by 128. Uh, the medium pictures are 256 by 256. And the large ones are 512 by 512. Of course, it'll be, I'll have it on the screen. Once you find one, um, usually generally they'll be in like the same area. So the easiest way to do this is to come over here and hit the maximize. So that way more will show up in the row. And you can pull it over just a little bit and then you can make an extra row. Because you're going to be looking through a lot of these. So I'm not going to really show the whole process of looking through them. But as long as you know like which one out of the paintings you'll be all right. Um, you can, this is a, this is a project too that you could work on periodically. You can save them and then come back and, and do more. So I'm going to go ahead and start looking for the, yeah see this is, when you click on it the height and the width will be right up here. And here's the, the little picture of the 40 by 40. It's really small. <laughs> but we're looking for 128 by 20, 128. So I did find some of the small ones. Like this is one of the small pictures, I believe. I think this one is. You know, I don't have my sim paint all that often. Here's here's the small picture. Here's one of the small pictures that I'm looking for. I can go ahead and put this back uh, to normal size with the minimize it. And then you're going to want to once, once you're on it, you're going to want to hit add to current package. And this is going to put this into the package file that we made. And these are the, these are the small ones. This is 128 by 128. I found it. Oh my goodness. I knew I was overlooking it. Okay. So I found this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this to the current package. So now I got both of these in here. Now I'm going to go look for the large one. Okay, so I found I found the the large paintings. They're 512 by 512 and I'm like maybe halfway down here. And man, I'm not even going to lie. It was a very time consuming. So definitely kudos to the, the people that take the time to to make these. This isn't so I think this is another one. Um, here, here's the one that I'm looking for. This is the large painting. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one and add, uh, to current package. So now I got all three of the ones 
that I was looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and I can close out of this. I don't need this part anymore right now. I'm going to go ahead and do, do one save in case anything crashes. I don't know. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so I got my pictures in here from the ones that I kind of want to use for now. And what I'm going to what I'm going to do is this large painting. I'm going to go ahead and export and I'm just going to save it in, in the same folder. I'm going to go ahead and export all three of them. I don't think you have to export the medium and the small. You just have to have a picture of that size, but I am going to export them anyways in case um, so I can see exactly where call this medium because I know these pictures are going to be too big. So I'm going to have to scale them down and I want to know. So in case I can't fit the whole picture in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up. Start with the large one. I'm going to go ahead and open this up with uh, Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and select this and copy it over. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and bring it right underneath. So that way, I guess you see what I'm doing here. <laughs> Then you're going to want to do a control T for a free transform. And then just start scaling down. There we go. That's good enough. I'm going to go ahead and place that there. I'm just going to go ahead and save as. Just save it in that same folder. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open up the medium one. Let's do this picture. This picture is kind of kind of cute. It has a little bit of a thing there, but that's fine. Let's look all. So I'm going to do control T. right there. So I'm going to go ahead and save as. Medium. Medium one. Now the smaller picture is going to be a little bit, is going to be probably the toughest one because it is a very, you do have to scale it down really far. You don't want to lose any, uh, any quality. We'll try this picture here. So we'll do control T for free transform. We use a uh, free transform so that way we don't lose quality when we're scaling it down. And it looks about good enough. I'm just going to do a save as. So now we're going to come right back into here and we're going to start importing. I'm going to go ahead and import large one, go ahead and import the medium one, then I'm going to go ahead and import the small one and hits and ooh, not cancel, save. <laughs> Go ahead and save that. Then I'm gonna go in game and check them out. Okay, so here we are, and here's the pictures that I went ahead and replaced. So it is very time consuming, but there you go, that's how you do it. Um, hopefully I didn't confuse anybody. If this helped you out in any way, shape, or form, feel free to leave it a like and subscribe for future tutorials and possible uh, mod reviews, or yeah, mod reviews. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.